Hey everyone, welcome back to our little corner of the internet. Today's video is part two of our wedding planning series. If you missed our first episode, make sure you check them with the link above or in the description box below. Today, we're super excited because we're gonna take you along with us to a wedding expo that we attended in Sri Lanka while we planned our beautiful destination wedding. So, backstory, we landed in Sri Lanka with about 15 days to plan our entire wedding, um, three events uh, back to back. Um, so we were definitely stressed out and we definitely felt the pressure from the moment we got off the plane because it was a lot of decisions to make, a lot of, lot of things we had to get done. Of course, we arrived there with some prior research done, like gathering vendor details from whatever we found on Instagram or speaking to our wedding planner or just word of mouth of people that have been there. But um, I think the first week of us being there, we visited so many vendors, but it was just so much to do. And I don't think we were very successful. But luckily, we found out about this wedding expo that was happening um, just a couple days before we left. And we decided to go give it a chance. And boy, was that a lifesaver because literally it helped plan our wedding in just hours. So as a wedding planner, I've attended many expos in my day, but it was Louis' very first time going to a wedding expo. But I also had a very humble expectation of the wedding expo, just given where we were. And in my defense, we did attend one, like I think our first week there, and it was just, it was not it. There was barely any vendors. So going to this other expo, I kind of just had a similar expectation, but boy, were we proven wrong. From the moment we walked in, we were so mesmerized by the quality of work that we saw and the extravaganza that was on display. Mm -hmm. There was vendors for literally everything you could imagine from florals to cakes, transportation, literally anything and everything that you could imagine. It was truly a one-stop shop for wedding planning needs. Yep. And like, we spent hours just walking around, um, talking to different vendors, checking out different booths, and just like trying to gather information. We didn't just want to book something right away. And honestly, guys, just getting to see these vendors in real life and seeing their work in person makes a huge difference than what you actually just see on Instagram, right? And then you're in person speaking to them and forming a rapport and getting to know them. And it really helps you see if they're a good fit for you and if you're a good fit for that. And I will say like, it really made me feel a lot more confident in making certain decisions that we did that day because had I just been like sitting and messaging them on Instagram, it would have just been a draggy process. But being in person, we just felt so much more confident and comfortable with um, who we selected as our vendors. Mm -hmm. One of the highlights for us definitely was getting our cake vendor secured that day. That was a huge, huge uh, checklist off our plate. As you know, we did multiple events, three events, and we needed cakes for two events. And it's actually very, very common for um, Sri Lankan weddings to have those six, seven foot um, cakes and like those large embellishments. But I wanted something a little more subtle, but cake also wasn't like a big priority for either of us. So we didn't want to spend a fortune, but we also didn't want to compromise on the look or the aesthetic. So it was a challenge to find somebody that kind of just met us in between. And literally when we walked by this uh, cake vendor's booth, we, I, I was just like, okay, this person is it. I need to know more. I need to see what she can do and just chatting with her in person. She really helped us guide and form a decision. She was honest and said, okay, this is what we can do, this is what we can do, and literally helped us make a decision, sketch it out right there and then. And she kind of like, she did both our cakes. So yeah. literally, and the price was unbeatable. It was unbeatable. So we definitely lucked out because not only did we get to design our cake and know what we were getting and meet our vendor, but also they offered us a great, great price on that cake as well, so. The design that we had, it was a little complicated and you know, Sri Lankan cake designers, um, either they're overpriced um, for the design that we wanted to get done. In or, general, cakes are overpriced, yeah. like wedding cakes, but yeah. Or um, they just 
didn't know how to do that design. Um, for example, our wedding cake, um, which was an all white cake, um, and we wanted this floral wrap design around wrap around it, and it was a little bit difficult to do. So that was um, kind of. It just wasn't common there because yeah. usually they're used to like more traditional structures, right? So what we were requesting for was something a little different. Um, but I mean, look, I felt like our kid came out so beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. We'll share some pictures. Well, but yeah, we, she, she did a fantastic job. And then for our homecoming, uh, we wanted a black cake. Which, which is, is very, very uncommon. uncommon <laughs> Most Atlanta. vendors straight up said no. <laughs> yeah, they said, no, we don't want to do that. And so uh, the vendor we found, uh, she she said, okay, we'll, we'll do it. And uh, yeah, it, it, it was new to her, new to us, and I'm pretty sure it was new to a lot of people in Sri Lanka. Um, but it was it was a it was a beautiful case. Yeah, and she was willing to work with us. That's that's what was important. I feel like if I had just like it has it been like a phone call or maybe just a message, maybe it wouldn't have translated the same. Uh, but being in person, I think, is what helped us make that decision. Also, I want to say that this vendor was not on Instagram. We did we've never heard of her. We never seen her prior work. Um, if I had not gone to this expo, I would have never think, discovered. Yeah, her. you would have never found who she, she was. She was a rare gem, um, you know, mm -hmm. and she she was amazing. Cake wasn't the only thing that we booked that day. We also booked our transportation, our Sangeet decor, our photo booth through the expo, uh, and we got our money's worth. Mm -hmm. And we definitely also gathered a lot more like vendor details from that day that like, you know, we weren't able to book them right away, but we took it with us and we like did more research on it and we connected with them later. And I think we did book a few other vendors from that day, uh, but like our transportation, Singi Decor, and the cake, we literally paid our deposit that, like right there and just like finished it off because we were flying out in like two days and we barely got anything done in the week we were there. Yeah. Before we wrap up, we want to give you some tips on how you can make the most of your wedding expo visit. First and foremost, prioritize your essentials. This tip doesn't just apply to the expo, but just in general when it comes to wedding planning. Prioritize whether, you know, a cake is more important to you than your dessert table or a venue, food, whatever it is, prioritize your essentials and, you know, even number it down. So when you get there, you can have an idea of which vendors you want to spend more time in and where you want to generate your energy. Tip number two, make a checklist. It'll keep you organized and you don't miss any crucial details. You can speak to each vendor detail you one at a time. Tip number three, don't be afraid to ask questions. Ask as many questions as you need to. Like I said, this is a rare opportunity where you're going to get to speak to so many vendors all at once in under one roof, right? So if you have any questions, feel free to ask it. Don't feel like, oh, it's a stupid question. It really isn't because they're the expert and they know you're new and you don't do this every day. You're not a wedding planner or you're not in the wedding industry. So they're eager to help you. They're excited to see you and they're excited to secure your business. So feel free to ask any questions and until you feel confident enough to make that decision, if you're not confident enough to make a decision, at least ask enough questions so you can walk away satisfied with what you find. Tip number four, take your time. Wedding expos or wedding planning generally, it could be overwhelming. So, you know, don't rush into doing things and making decisions. Um, some vendors are so friendly to the point that even after, they'll give you like a timeline. Um, we got till this time, um, we will still honor the price that you saw at the expo. So make sure you take your time, if you need to sleep on it, go home, think about it, sleep on it, speak to you know numerous vendors, get the best deal. Um, and yeah, just take your time, generally don't rush into things. <laughs> Sounds like a life advice. And lastly, be prepared. I know it's just a wedding expo, but if you want to make the most of it and maximize your time, go prepare. Have your Pinterest board ready, have your inspiration photos, and even if there's some vendors that you have, 
have them like you know listed so when you get there and you recognize them you can speak to them the pinterest board and inspirations will really go a long way because when you're speaking to vendors you can literally show them okay this is what i want what can you like are you able to achieve this or if not what can we do together so definitely definitely have that prepared and know what you kind of want ish uh, before you get there yeah and not just also pinterest even if it's instagram or facebook yeah uh, like a mood board. yeah a mood board or, or you know you could categorize um your saves on instagram and facebook now to different categories me and her both we have numerous saves I have so many, I can't uh, even know. yeah so like a wedding photographers there's one for wedding bands there's one for wedding designer there's so many things and, and it, it's a good catalog to have um where you have visuals it's not like you're describing something brand new to someone mm -hmm. and so you could just so hey this is what i want can you do this or no uh, exactly. it's very simple as that yeah thank you for joining us guys on our wedding planning journey if you have any questions please comment below. If you have any ideas for our next video, please let us know what we could film. We'll be happy to talk about it. Yeah, we're here to answer all your wedding planning questions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.